Good morning, everyone. Waking up with the K-Ster. It's about 6.30, about to be 7. I about have an hour left to study for the weekly quiz. Do you hear this motor? When you're telling the patient that they have an STD, uh, you may need to take a picture of some vesicles. And then here we can see these well circumscribed ulcers. Um, and the primary infection, the first. Aiden, what are we doing right now? We're taking a survey to get us full accredited again. And the only way that they got us to do the survey is if they fed us. <laughs> I'm okay with this. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am in the student lounge that I just found out existed. And I just finished my research article. I edited everything and I wrote the conclusion and my discussion and that's all done. And my partner is going to edit it and then my mentor, research mentor is going to edit it. Other than that, it is finally done. I've been working on this, I think since February or March, but it's done and it's good. So that's all that matters. Now I am out of here. Finally, the sun has come out in Texas. Ah, it's good to see clear skies again. Well, 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 Kelly's okay, like stuck in a tree, but you continue wanting to climb them really high, don't you? At what point should I start getting worried that my cat really likes to climb trees a little too high? I'm officially now doing death-defying stunts, trying to save my cat. Ah. Okay, well, I saved the cat, but now how do I get out of here? <laughs> uh, with germ cells in the Veggie burger and lecture. Come on, let's go. <laughs> what are we doing a mic check for? Because we're going to perform tomorrow on stage for the Night of the Arts. Ooh, and what group are we? We are the Gotham <laughs> What does agophony mean? Uh, well, agophony is actually a clinical finding that we do on a pulmonary exam. Oh! But okay. we're using it as like a little like... Play on words? Yeah, you know, play on words. Yeah, <laughs> ego is like, you know, the self. It's you. And then phony. <laughs> we are now on our way to go for our mic check. We're basically going to sing our songs. And we're all very scared. So I am on my way to go shadow right now. Um, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed from school right now. Apparently all my classmates are already studying for step and reading textbooks and all I do is just do the reading. Sorry, I just shadowed somebody and got distracted. But as I was saying, almost all of my classmates now are reading outside sources for class and reading first aid very very intensely and doing first aid questions and spending a lot a lot of time preparing for a step and understanding class material and i just don't understand when they have time to do this or like don't do they not relax and lay in bed for a second. Uh, am I going to fill this final? So yeah, just a lot of panic running through my head right now that I'm not doing enough for step, for this test, for anything. And if, if people have been doing this much for step this whole time, maybe I'm just screwed because I have not. All I do is do what teachers tell me and do the pre-reading and go to class. And that's always worked pretty well for me, but I guess it's not enough anymore. Anyways, on that note, I'm going home and then I have my talent show that I'm going to be doing all day that has nothing to do with studying or learning anything for the next five hours and just, you know, it's just that I put myself in all of these extracurricular activities that I think are awesome, but kind of get in the way of potentially studying more. So I will try to be a better student from now on, but today is just not going to be one of those days. Today I am going to sing. Okay guys, it's your time. What is today's date? 
Today is October 11th, 2017. What's up, Travis? What's up, Erica? Oh, y'all are matching! The day, you know, the day of brothers. destiny. <laughs> no, no, no. It's time. Uh, time to shine. What are we singing today? This is the sum of the entire... So yeah, what okay. are we singing? Can't Help Falling in Love by Elvis Presley. Arranged, then, arranged by our own Amy Kim. Uh-huh. And Little Talks. Yeah. By... by of Monsters and Men. So, yeah, and we go on in like an hour. Yeah. So we're down to the wire. Here's the stage. I don't know why I could say that. And um, we're getting ready to go on stage soon. Way to end my day. Yum. Today I am doing a female pelvic exam for the first time. Do you guys see the stain on the sleeve of my white coat? I have tried bleach, OxyClean, washing it, washing it again, and it won't come off. And it's because I put my arm in my banana one time. Jeez, my goodness. This is the worst travel companion ever. Ow! Digging into my skin. Why don't you just relax? What do you think, Kate? Ah! Oh! Officially mad at this cat. Hot soup cooking because it's a very cold day in Texas. And I have my little soft blanket and my computer going on over here. Alright, arriving at school for another weekly quiz. It was a super awesome day. I got my first 100 on the quiz that I've probably gotten all year long. And now uh, my partner and I are going to a pre-med honor society at a local university. And we're going to tell all the schools about our medical school. So it should be really exciting. So we just got done teaching all of these college students about medical school. Hopefully we didn't scare most of them off. A lot of them had great questions and seemed really enthusiastic about medical school. And uh, it just makes me super happy to see how hopeful and happy they are and how miserable we are in our day. Um, so I don't know, it just made me really happy to be here and uh, yay! I did not go to school today. I decided to just do the lectures at home. And I finally get to see what Caleb says when I'm at school. How interesting. I'm with the Agafani crew and we are having a little karaoke night. Crazy in here. Okay, so for today's activities, it is Thursday. We, um, Emma is going to a women and medicine dinner, and it hopefully is super nice. And we have to wear pink, so so hair done, and it feels really, really great. So I'm loving my GHG straightener so far. Time for makeup. All right, got the pink lipstick going on and some lashes, and I am ready to go now. <laughs> Doctor life is like. Hey, come take it with us. Everyone's on the Okay, okay, okay. Hey guys, another interesting day. Today we are learning. We are going to learn about a very controversial subject, abortion. And I'm kind of excited to go to this lecture because I'd love to finally hear like a non-biased science facts about it without actually having like everybody's opinion thrown into the mix. And then after the abortion lecture, we're having an abortion panel where women who have had abortions uh, talk about their experience, how they feel, and the stigma behind it. So, it should be very interesting. A lot of subtleties in the different groups, okay? But we are just going to take things, we're going to uh, treat them sort of all together. Hmm. <laughs> so what are the things 
I just got done. Um, so after the abortion lecture, we then had a panel of people who have had abortions and we talked to them. And then after that, we had a lecture about the history of abortions. And the historian was basically saying that in the past, the law, the politics, and the clergy have always kind of swung in the direction that doctors wanted. So for instance, way back then, doctors were against abortions, and so were politics, and so was the law and whatnot. And then about halfway in the 20th century, um, doctors apparently were more the, uh, under certain, certain circumstances you can have an abortion, and so that way the politics went. And now, the AMA and doctors have actually had a less of a aggressive opinion. They kind of have stepped back and let politics take over what the laws of abortion, basically. That we don't really have any say or voice in it because we've kind of just disappeared. Um, and I think that's the reason for a lot of the problems we have with the abortion regulations and it just seems like we offer abortions but we have all these regulations so it kind of seems like we don't want abortions and politics is really just not having it together and he was basically saying if medicine could again come together and agree on a consensus again then politics the law and everybody would stand behind them because they all listen to medicine and we haven't been doing that and, you know, if we don't come to a consensus, he was saying, we can fight about it for another 80 years, but nothing's going to get fixed. So we really do need to think as doctors, do we need the patients to have this right? Is it wrong? Is, do we think a fetus is a life? Too many people get abortions. Maybe it's just, we should just understand and be practical and give them because they're gonna happen either way, either lawfully under medical supervision or illegally under more dangerous ways. We have to think about all these things and we have to come together and come to a consensus, he said, and that will finally hopefully get this movement into less of a controversy and more of a either right that women do have or a right that women don't have. So I guess, I hope that makes sense. Um, but anyways, I have to go take a quiz, so Let's go do that. So, awesome news. I have a package to open for you guys, but for the first time ever, this is a package from a subscriber. So this is my first fan mail. So I just want to say big thank you to Jasmine. Uh, I think that you are so incredibly generous to do this for me. Um, and I just think that you're wonderful and you're very beautiful and just absolutely amazing for doing this. So I'm gonna open her gift and I'll do it on my vlog. Oh my gosh, I can't even. In your video, you said you wanted to pet penguins so I bought you penguin socks. I hope you like them. Oh my gosh. A doctor's hands always need to be clean. Stress reliever since you're always stressed. And there's hand sanitizer and a sweet pea and in the stress relief formula. Look who just interrupted my vlog. So Jasmine works at Victoria's Secret and she got me a whole bunch of Victoria's Secret stuff because she knows how much I love them. So I had this pink jacket and also these awesome leggings. I cannot even begin to tell you guys how amazing this girl is. Oh my gosh, Jasmine, I don't even know what to say. This was such an amazing letter and these are such amazing gifts. I cannot even begin to express how thankful I am for your love and support. So thank you so much. Alrighty guys, it's me, my package, and I'm saying goodbye to the school. Just now a dermatologist sat down with me randomly and was just saying, what do you want to be when you grow up? And I was just like, uh, I, ooh, isn't that pretty? I was just like, I have no idea, honestly. And he was like, do derm. And I was just like, okay. And he walked away. So I looked into it and I don't think it's possible. Uh, I know this was a jam packed video, but hopefully y'all enjoyed it and this view. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye everyone.